Good afternoon. Welcome to Hoffman Lexus. My name is Alex Gallant. Today I'm going to be taking you through the NX300, one of our top selling vehicles and really a very capable SUV. Why don't you come on over? I'm going to show you underneath the hood here. For the NX300, Lexus equips a two liter turbo. This is a four cylinder motor and it's going to be connected to a six speed automatic transmission. The combination is going to put about 235 horsepower to the wheels, so a very capable motor. Um, the NX definitely has plenty of pickup. You have your battery right up front, same with your oil and your windshield washer fluid. So daily maintenance is right within an arm's reach, very easy to get in here and do something yourself if need be. Lexus is also going to put uh, a fire blanket on top of the hood. This is to dampen any type of flames if there was an engine fire, um, and it's also going to help with... Um, uh, noise reduction. Right up here on the windshield of the car, you'll see there's a small triangle up there and there's actually a camera in there. What that camera is going to do, that's what controls the Lexus Safety System 2.0. And what it does, it's going to keep you centered in your lane on the highway. It's also going to stop you from veering off the road on either side. And then through a sensor in this front emblem, what will happen is the vehicle will warn you to brake if need be and it'll actually hit the brakes for you in the event of, a, uh, of an emergency. But that's really only if somebody in front of you really slammed on the brakes or if a pedestrian crossed in front of you unexpectedly or maybe a bicyclist crossed you. But um, whatever it may be, the, the sensor will detect it and hopefully stop you from rear-ending somebody or, or hitting a pedestrian. You're gonna have the LED turn signals on the NX and you're also gonna have a combination headlight. Get very good visibility at night. This particular vehicle that I'm showing you today has the parking sensors equipped. These sensors will go around the whole vehicle and basically what will happen is if you're in a tight space or pulling out of the garage, whatever it may be, these sensors are going to let you know how much space you have to whatever's closest to you um, and it will make it easier to maneuver out of a tight space. This version of the NX that I'm showing you today rides on a 17 inch wheel. These are aluminum alloy wheels. And then every Lexus up here in New England, with the exception of a few performance vehicles, are going to come with all-season tires. You really shouldn't need snow tires for this car. The, the all-seasons are, are very good for all-wheel drive up here in New England. Breakaway mirrors. This is a nice feature. If somebody comes and hits you uh, on the side unexpectedly, the hope is that the mirror is going to flex rather than snap off. You're also going to see that there's a turn signal built onto this mirror. Right up here, part of the Lexus safety system is the blind spot monitor. So if somebody was hovering in your blind spot, the mirror will actually give you an indication and let you know that somebody's um, riding your blind spot. Now, these mirrors also do one other feature there. It's called auto dimming. If somebody has their high beams on, the reflection isn't gonna come off the mirror and blind you. It's actually gonna dim down automatically to avoid that from happening. If you wanna follow me this way, Pop open the fuel door here. Now the NX will take premium fuel, and that's because they use the turbocharged motor, so they think that the, the premium fuel is gonna help for longevity in these vehicles. Um, now, other than that, the premium is gonna make for a, a better, uh, better feeling behind the pedal as it's a cleaner gas. Let me show you here in the tailgate, you got plenty of space back here. Definitely a nice large trunk with the automatic tailgate. It's very easy to access as well. Those seats do fold down flat. I'm gonna go here on the side and show you that. All you have to do is come up here and pull this lever and the seat's gonna drop down nice for you. That makes it easy if you're loading in any large items. So the, uh, you have the 60-40 split there for those rear seats. Right up here on the tailgate door, you'll see that there is a automatic tailgate all you have to do is push a button that'll go right down for you and you'll also have the kick sensor tailgate here um, so you can wave your foot and the tailgate will open let me demonstrate that so you can see so basically you're going to walk right up to the center of the vehicle put your foot up take a step back and the tailgate's going to come up for you now that's really nice if you're ever carrying groceries or large items you're not going to want to be fumbling around for your keys or looking for the button, you can just wave your foot and it'll pop right open. Now, some of the best features of the NX are on the inside. 
So let me show you the interior of this vehicle so you can get a better idea of how they're equipped. So inside this version of the NX that I'm showing you today, you have the nice wide moonroof up above our head. So you actually have two different controls for this moonroof. On the right side, this is the one that's actually gonna slide it back for us. And this is fully automatic, so I did that with just the push of the button. It's gonna slide all the way back and meet its final point there. You also have the controls on this side just to tilt that open, um, which is nice if you ever want to uh, just get a crack of fresh air in here during the summertime. Let me show you all these features over here on the dashboard and the screen of the car so you can get a better idea of what's going on in the info screens of these vehicles. All right, so inside this version of the NX that I'm showing you today, you're going to see you have Homelink right up here on your mirror. There are three buttons there to program a garage door, which is nice um, so you don't have to carry around a remote. Power button up here. We'll turn off this little green light. That green light's an indicator for those auto dimming mirrors I mentioned earlier. So if you ever thought that the, uh, the auto dimming feature was too, um, too dark for you, you can turn them on and off uh, for your preference. The NX has a 7.9-inch uh, screen. Now, you're going to have controls right down here where my finger is um, on a mouse pad. You're going to press the menu button, and you'll see you'll have the, the different options up here on the screen from your radio, the phone, and then, of course, the biggest feature now, this one here that says projection, is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. That's been a big feature for us recently. That's really nice. Basically, all you have to do is plug in your cell phone, and it's going to come right up on the screen of the car. You can use your own apps, your own navigation, music, whatever you like. And then, of course, you're going to have a, a Sirius radio in this vehicle, as well as AM and FM. And you could always play music through your cell phone um, through Bluetooth as well. Now, um, while your vehicle's um, paired to your phone through Bluetooth, you can also make phone calls. Um, which will pop up right up on the screen on the steering wheel over here on the left side You're going to have buttons to answer the phone So you have pick up and hang up and you also have voice commands So you could press this button you could say something like call Hoffman Auto You could say something like navigate to West Farms Mall as long as it's a basic command the car will do what you need Moving down from the screen um, you have the nice analog clock here in the center this is one of my favorite uh, pieces with Lexus because it ties the whole dashboard together. Nice classic look there. You have these silver buttons here um, to control the climate. Um, so you actually have dual climate in this vehicle. I can control my own temperature zone and the passenger could set it to whatever they like. One great feature with Lexus, when you put on the rear defroster in the winter time, the side view mirrors are going to defrost as well, which is nice so you don't have to, to go at them with an ice scraper. They'll actually defrost on their own heated and cooling seats so heated seats we've all experienced at some point but cooling seats are very nice um, in the in the summertime they'll cool you down and um, definitely makes a big difference you also have your hazard lights here in the center a cd player that's gone the way of the dodo with most brands um, i have plenty of people ask me for a cd ba player on a regular basis um, so it's nice that they put it in there and then of course you have your radio controls for volume and tune you have a chrome knob here for what is called your drive mode. Um, so you have three options with your drive mode. You're going to have normal, which is gonna give you the most comfortable ride possible. Sport, which is gonna give you a lot more power behind the pedal. You'll feel the difference in sport. You're gonna hear the engine roar a little bit extra. And you're also gonna feel your steering tighten up. Um, so it really gives you a much more sporty experience once you put it in that mode. Um, and you'll definitely feel a big difference. Eco mode, you're not going to notice as much from the transition from normal to eco, but basically what eco is going to do, it's going to run the engine in lower RPMs when it can um, to help you save on gas. Um, so really kind of something that works behind the scenes and you could really just leave it on and enjoy the better fuel economy. Um, the mouse pad that I was using to control the screen before. And then one nice thing with Lexus is this um, automatic parking brake. Now, basically, when you put the car in park, you're going to feel it lock in place, and you just get out of the car and do your thing. Um, it's nice that you don't have to pull a, a hand, hand crank or a foot pedal. It's completely automatic. Now, there's a little tab here on the armrest. That is for a vanity mirror. Very nice. Um, something they just kind of tucked in there, and I'll tell you what, it's definitely a, a cool little feature that not, not many cars are going to have. And then in here, you have a nice big um, center console with charging ports. So that's where you plug in your, your phone for the Apple CarPlay feature. 
and you also have a standard outlet that we're used to in, in most of our current vehicles. Now, other than that, right up here on the steering wheel on the right side, you have all the latest safety controls. And basically, anything you do with this little um, radial wheel will control the screen up here in front of me in the driver's seat. So you have a few different displays that you can leave up. The one that's most common is, the, is your current fuel economy in the vehicle. Um, of course, you can see things like your uh, tire pressure um, and know that, you know, that way you can know if you need to put air on one of your tires. You could leave it up and have the radio in front of you. The message board is pretty cool. Basically, what will happen is if the vehicle needs service, it'll pop up here and tell you to get into the dealership or it'll tell you whatever, uh, you know, it may need to, like, you know, your windows down or um, you left the key in the car, things like that. And then last but not least up here, you can customize any of the safety features in this vehicle. Basically, if you wanted to um, turn off one of the features or customize one specific thing that it does, you can do that and you have the freedom to do so. Um, that's, one of my, that's one of my favorite things about the Lexus safety system. So if there's just one feature that doesn't sit right with you as the driver, you have the, the ability to, to set your preference in here. Um, and then of course, you'll have some, some features to control the clock and, and other vehicle settings. The windshield wipers in this vehicle are on a lever. Basically, the lower down this lever goes, the faster those windshield wipers are going to move. Of course, over here on the left side, not only is this your turn signal, but it's also um, how you control your high beams and headlights. Um, now, with Lexus and the NX, you're going to have automatic high beams and headlights. So basically, once you set this to auto and leave this in the forward position, you're never going to have to worry about your high beams or headlights. The car is going to do it automatically. If you were on a dark road at night, um, and the high beams turned on, what's going to happen is they're going to stay on until you either get into a section where there's better street lights, or um, if somebody was coming the other direction in another vehicle, the high beams will actually dim down to avoid blinding the other driver. Now up here on the steering wheel, you do have the uh, paddle shifters as well. So you can manually shift your transmission um, with the plus and minus of the paddle shifters, which is pretty cool. Definitely nice when you're in sport mode and, and playing around with how the vehicle rides. Right down here, you're going to have a nice instrument panel on the left side, and basically you can pop the tailgate from here. You could turn off your blind spot monitors with the push of a button. I'm not sure why you'd want to, but you always could. Um, rear differential lock. This is a feature you're not going to see with, with many brands, but basically this is going to lock you into all-wheel drive. Really, really only used for um, off-road application, but you never know if it was icy or snowy out, you may need to press that. Um, heated steering wheel. So with the push of a button, the steering wheel is going to heat up right up here on the pads at 9 and 3 um, and keep your hands warm during the winter. Of course, down here you'll have your trunk latch. Uh, hood latch, I mean. Sorry. And then other than that, right up here on the driver door, you'll see on the armrest that there are a few different controls. Not only are you going to have um, automatic mirrors and windows, you also have power folding mirrors. So I'm going to push this button. You'll see the side view mirror is going to tuck in. So basically all I have to do is give that a press. The mirror is going to pull in on its own, which is nice if you're ever parking in a garage or a tight space. And then you can push it back to auto and it'll fold on out for you. Now, other than that, that's really everything in here. The only way you could get a better idea of if the NX is going to be the right car for you is to come by the dealership. We're right here at 750 Connecticut Boulevard, so make sure you come on down to Hoffman Lexus and, and give the NX a test ride or a, ask a, a salesperson for a demonstration. They'd be happy to take you through the whole car. Other than that, I just want to say thank you for choosing Hoffman, driven by trust.